These birds are on alive, and this is not something any farmer wants to see. This is not something any layer poultry farmer wants to see because these birds being on alive only represents one thing to the farmer. It represents that the farmer has lost lots of eggs. Stick around to the end because I am certain you're going to learn something. Today we are looking at the major causes of mortality in layer poultry farming. Major causes of mortality in layer poultry farming. So when a farmer talks about mortality, that's the loss of their birds, the death of their birds, it means one thing to the farmer. It is a huge loss to the farmer. And it is a huge loss not because the farmer is losing one chicken, but because the farmer is losing hundreds of eggs. Because let's say one bird, like one Issa Brown for instance, which we have at the farm here, one Issa Brown is supposed to give the farmer like maybe 300 eggs in a year and that's one chicken dies. So that is the farmer losing like 300 eggs. It is a huge loss. 300 eggs translates to about 10 crates of eggs. Imagine what a farmer is going to make from 10 crates of eggs. Currently, one crate of egg is probably about 5,000 era in the open market. So that is what a farmer would lose when one chicken when one bird dies on the farm so what are the major causes of mortality in layer poultry farming number one would be poor management so poor management can be a lot of things poor management can be overcrowding among the flock yes poor management can also be um bad ventilation in the pen poor management can also be um bad litter management i mean the waste poor management can also be um, bad feeding uh, or bad nutrition. These are some of the examples of poor management that might lead to mortality among the flock. So if the flock are overcrowded, it means that they don't have enough space and they are not just free, they, they will get choked and this might lead to their death also. Then also if the litter management is not done well, let's say for instance in um, deep litter, if the litter management is not done well, the waste is not taken out um, properly, of course that would also, aside it being a poor management, it would also lead to death, disease outbreak and all that. Then another thing would be the feed and the nutrition. If you are giving your birds feed that are not so good or you're not giving them the right, um, the right quantity of the feed, it will also affect them because of course it will lead to malnutrition and at the end of the day it probably will lead to their death also. Then of course under this uh, management we have the water system also. So if these birds get dehydrated, trust me, it's going to lead to mortality of the birds. So a farmer should take their management very seriously so that it can reduce mortality on their farm. So we've talked about one, the management. If the management, if the farm management is poor, it is going to affect the birds and it would lead to high mortality on that farm. Another thing that leads to um, high mortality on a farm is the biosecurity measures on that farm. So if adequate biosecurity measures are not put in place, then there's going to be a lot of trouble on the farm. So if any anybody can just enter into your pen, if anybody has access into your pen, that is very harmful to your birds because you don't know what disease any, anybody is bringing in, what they are bringing in from their clothing, their feet. And that is why it is very important to always have um, water baths at the entrance of your pen. So it is not even enough to, to be careful of visitors. Also your staff should be careful of themselves also because they probably would go to this place and go to that place. It is why it is important for every staff getting into any pen to all, always dip their feet in the water bath that of course has water and also any um, disinfectant to ensure that every uh, microorganism that may be on their feet, under their feet, do not enter into the pen with them. So once this is, once biosecurity is put in place and there is adequate um, quarantine measures, we are sure that them, there will be very low mortality on that farm. So if this is also put in place, you're sure that um, mortality is going to be reduced on the farm. Another thing that might lead to high mortality is toxins. So I know sometimes we probably try to be is it careful? I don't know how to describe that. Let's say for instance it's rained or you opened your bag of feed and you discovered that um, 
some of the feed has caked and you still give the feed to your birds i don't think that is that is safe enough because the feed might contain toxins and all that because of course this feed that we give to our birds they are mixed with a lot of things sometimes some of these things do not should not even get in contact with water so once water gets in contact with it it has started it has started um degrading imagine you now give that to your birds so when the birds feed on it it might it, it, it might not be very good with their system and it might lead to mortality so as much as possible of course i totally understand that feed are expensive now but once you open any bag of feed and you see mold or you see that the feed has caked please do not give it to your birds hmm? it is better to do not just give it to your birds another cause for mortality for high mortality on a layer poultry farm is environmental stress so for environmental stress we have heat stress i have a video where i talk about heat stress i probably have it linked here we have heat stress we have cold stress and also the fact that the the weather fluctuates a whole lot sometimes it is really hot and sometimes it is really cold and sometimes we are just in between it's not so hot it is not so cold so these birds unlike we human that we are able to probably just throw on a sweater throw on a cardigan and all that they're not able to do that so this affects them and sometimes they're not able to quickly regulate their system and it might lead to mortality so as a farmer whenever you notice okay that the, the weather is becoming hot you know that you have to bring in um you have to bring in measures to prevent heat stress to your birds and once you discover that oh it is so cold you have to also immediately bring in measures to prevent cold stress also so this way you're able to ensure that things um the the weather fluctuation doesn't get so bad that it might now lead to the death of your birds so one has to be very careful and always be very watchful because of course at the end of the day these birds they cannot talk so we have to be like their eyes we have to be like their mouth we have to think for them and look at the environment and try to think that okay is this weather okay for them should i bring in this measure should i bring in that measure to ensure that they are fine so that they stay alive for you if you have not subscribed on my channel now is the time to do so please subscribe on my channel please like please share please comment i'd like to know what are the other major causes of mortality you feel should be added on this list yeah so let let me know in the comment section and again like i would always mention please don't skip my ads thank you yeah another major cause of mortality in layer poultry farming and this is like the huge one the biggest one it is disease and infection a whole lot of disease might affect layer poultry birds and it will just lead to their death so many of them so we have um of course we have newcastle disease we have avian influenza we have gomboro we have marek disease there is foul cholera how can we even talk about poultry disease and not mention coccidiosis this is like this is like the chairman so of course some of these diseases could be they could be viral infection they could be bacterial infection and all that and we have to be very careful and always be on the lookout for uh, for signs or symptoms of these diseases so that the farmer can quickly nip it in the bud another way you can quickly know is um checking the the waste of your checking your litter checking the yeah checking the chicken waste so you're able to know that okay does it look like things are fine with these birds so it is always very important to check this thing so that you can treat treat the symptoms on time quickly before it leads to something affecting the whole flock so i am sure that once you have all this um all these causes of eye mortality in mind you can always always be on the lookout and address them as soon as you notice anything happening and this is because again like i said when one bird dies it is not just about one chicken dying on the farm it is you losing hundreds of eggs in your hundred of eggs on your layer poultry farm so diseases and um diseases um farm management um environmental stress etc these are the major causes of mortality in layer poultry farm of course there are other causes of mort mortality but like i said these are major causes that affect layer poultry farms so so we we'll see on another video bye bye